Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today I have, uh, oh, actually we have another care clip for you guys. So, um, but before I go over the orchid we're going to talk about, it's one of these in, in screen now. <laughs> Um, I first would like to uh, mention the other uh, participants for this care collab and then uh, I'm going to talk about uh, how I give care to this specific uh, orchid. So yeah, the orchids uh, for the day, I have one Durgan, it's this one here in the back and it's uh, a BLC Durgan and the rest uh, you may read for yourself. I'm not gonna try it because I'm going to mess it up. And um, yeah, it's this one here with a beautiful new growth. And I have this one bought uh, April this year. So, and this is my first Durkin that I have. And before I completely forget, <laughs> I uh, have it um, basically with the back, with the oldest part of the plant facing to the light so therefore I hope that the new growth will stand up more right and also will try to grow that way and um, hopefully another new growth will come out around here or on the other side of the plant and will go that way as well in that case I do not have to repot it uh, quite quickly I can let it grow uh, towards that side again but uh, we we will see. But I thought I will mention that I'm trying this. Um, yeah, try to uh, train this growth <laughs> to go the other way around by uh, facing it um, in the opposite direction as uh, the light source, and this is uh, where the light comes from. So therefore, I hope my uh, this orchid, this Jurgen, will, uh, like I said, turn that way, um, and hopefully stop um, climbing outside of the pot. But we will see if it uh, succeeds and um, it's not a big plant yet like i said it's just in my care let's put it here on the floor for a second so we can have a better closer look up but I, what i really like is the speckles on the, on the new growth the tints of purple i'm not really sure yeah, i think it has to do a little bit with the light because the other growths do seem fairly green but it doesn't receive uh, too much light because uh, yeah I don't have it for that long and I wanted to have first it needed some roots in a pot so therefore I don't want to give my orchids too much light when they start are still working on their new uh, roots and I have this mainly in LECA self-watering and yeah we have a few roots there so I never had this in bloom, like I said, because it's a very new one, um, but it's a blooming size because it had a spike once here. And uh, But yeah, I'm working with this, uh, with this new growth. And, whoops, <laughs> let me see if you can see it. I have it a bit laying in a pot, so I did uh, give it a pot it up with an angle because it's a bit of a climber, so therefore I try to get at least this growth with the roots established in a pot and hopefully I can have it more growing horizontal instead of uh, growing upwards but as you can see it's now laying very closely to the media and that is why it's a little bit strange uh, it does a little, yeah, look a little bit strange uh, in a pot because uh, like I said I have it in an angle but I hope this new growth will grow up right and I think it's fairly doing that it's 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 changing its uh, position and I hope a next new growth will do the same so I have a more upright faced plant again without the um, climbing habit but yeah most of the times once they do it they they probably will keep doing it but I thought I will give it a try and here you can see still the little bit of purple on there I think that's okay and um, yeah, there is something in there. Maybe it's a sheet. I'm going to try to zoom in. I'm sorry, this... <laughs> try to focus here. But you can see there's a little bit coming from in... from the apex, so I think uh, that might be a sheet, but I don't know if this one wants to flower already. And 
if it should because as you saw we have some roots in the pot but not that much so and what I do with my uh, like my other orchids I um, do not flush I keep an eye on the reservoir so I check it every three months if the pH is right and if it there if there are not too many uh, parts per million I stick around 200 I like uh, uh, I like it a little bit less more but if it's over uh, 200 I will flush it and give it a new uh, water uh, new fresh water in the reservoir and in summer I fertilize it around 100 to 130 parts per million and yeah that's basically it I just treated it for pests with my oil solution and it's probably not on my channel yet but it will be soon because I filmed uh, a lot of it but I have to do quite uh, some editing uh, because there was quite a lot of footage <laughs> so uh, but it will be up uh, very soon I use uh, Miss Orchid uh, Girls uh, recipe which uh, I really like and it really works well but therefore the leaves get a bit more shiny and but it helps to uh, yeah to keep them uh, from uh, getting pest all over them and uh, yeah beautiful thick leaves I hope I uh, this new growth will, will get the same uh, large leaves but who knows it has a little bit of setback because of the, it came in I think it was a bark mixture so I had to uh, transfer it into self watering and that always takes a little bit of the plants from one a little bit more and some do take off quite quickly this one didn't do very bad but it didn't have uh, many good roots on it so it's now working on the root system as uh, it while it's growing this new growth but yeah this is basically it this is my durigan and i hope next time uh, we will see some blooms because i really like the blooms and i I have to say one of my online friends who is also a follower of my channel did introduce me to the Durigans because there are um, quite uh, a few of them and um, but yeah they have a really beautiful bloom so I started with one and probably I will have some more in the near future but um, yeah so this is it for now thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can so I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.